Welcome back everybody, Red Thorn here, bringing you Castle Siege number 18 here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go! Here are the three castles, and let's see, Giron on the right, that one is straight up party on win there. Gludio on the left is a, an actual two-on-two. -two. Fear and Dynasty are in the resistance. Yorha, Ass Slappers, and Party On. But I was told to go with this one in the middle, Dion. Impact and FSK are in the resistance. Oblivion and Transcendence are in Party On. As you can see from the numbers here, I was told that these numbers are not actually correct, and let me explain what's going on here. As we head into the rankings, numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6, those are the ones that are participating in today's Castle Siege. The numbers are correct, but what they don't do, from my understanding, is that they do not include the combat power numbers of mercenaries. So even though FSK is at 476.4 million, they literally could be 500 million or more. We would never know because we cannot see the combat power of the mercenaries reflected in this number. Now, I was told that there is a way to see the, the, the combat power of the mercenaries. However, I went into where the members are and I scrolled through all of these people. Right? They have 48 out of 50 right now with four minutes before the beginning of this fight. I mean, there's nothing reflected here that says that they're mercenaries. Now, it's it's entirely possible that they don't actually have mercenaries right now. But I've looked at all the rest of these, these other three, Transcendence, Impact, Oblivion. None of these individual clans have a anybody in there that says that they're mercenaries. So I'm not sure what that person was talking about. We'll just take a look at, uh, at these guys here. I did p put up a poll in my server asking, should I even bother to show off the combat power rankings anymore since they're most likely never going to be accurate? See, nothing there. So far, a lot of people have said, yeah, continue to do so. I understand the argument for it that these are the raw numbers before mercenaries are added in and it can give people a basic gist of what's going on, and, and I agree with that. It also is an inaccurate, and I agree with that too. So it's six in one way, half a dozen in the other. I'm not gonna focus too heavily on these numbers anymore because there's just no point. Until I can see mercenaries' power along with the raw power of the clan itself without mercenaries, I, I'm just not gonna focus too much on this. Let's head into the battlefield. So, let's see here. Everyone's starting to possibly filter in. Down here on the bottom right, in the green, we have Transcendence. Here in the middle, we have FSK. So obviously that would mean this is Oblivion. This is going to be a bloodbath, for sure. No doubt, this is going to be pretty exciting. We've got a minute and 40 seconds remaining. I forgot if I can run through these doors or not. Oh, I guess I can, outstanding. I don't remember being able to do that. We're going to start up here, and I will be back for the 10 second countdown. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go. Castle Siege number 18. Just to let everybody know, I am. I switched away from the 2.4 gigahertz of the Wi-Fi band and switch over to the 5 gigahertz. I don't know how well that's going to work out for me. We're gonna find out though. I've definitely seen a lot less lag. But I... I know how messed up 5 gigahertz can be. So it looks like Impact is going after Oblivion. That is not a shocker. They really don't like Oblivion. Oblivion is probably going to turtle hard while Transcendence works on FSK. But Oblivion is... And there is FSK not making an attempt to bust through this gate.
that may actually work out for them. They have a very poor track record here in Castle Siege. Getting knocked out pretty quickly. So they're going to make Transcendence and... Well, they're going to make Transcendence break through the gate. Oblivion is trying to do their turtling thing. Let's see what Transcendence is doing over here. Have they already broken through? I'm pretty sure they already broke through. Yeah, they broke through. That's not a shocker there. There goes the gate for FSK. Now Transcendence can begin in earnest in trying to take out FSK. If Oblivion is unable to stop Impact from eliminating them, Transcendence is still probably in good shape, regardless. And I have to wait to for that Siege Camp. There we go, it's been attacked. It's, it's a little bit. Oblivion is not... They need to do a better job if they want to give Transcendence some time. Enough time. Because if they knock FSK out, this, this fight is over. I'll tell you that right now. But I can't say the same thing if... Oh, I can't say the same thing if Oblivion gets knocked out before FSK... Uh, if transcend, if this fight is over for transcendence, but this is approaching the halfway mark. Boy, they really need to allow us to. I'm just. They need to allow us to run faster. I just don't want to use the the waypoints because things crash when you use the waypoints. It's going to be neck and neck. I'm going to laugh if they both get knocked out at virtually the same time. If that happens to happen, this fight is over for impact. They'll have zero chance against Transcendence. Boy, it is neck and neck between these two. And I haven't seen Transcendence's uh, camp being under attack yet. I mean, send one or two in there, you know, to try to, to wear it down. Get a little head start here. If they can. This siege camp is half dead. Let's see how Oblivion's is. It's a race. Who will get knocked out first? Will they get knocked out at the same time? Uh-oh. Now looking good for FSK. I'm telling you, they have a terrible track record when it comes to... Uh Castle Siege, but uh, this one, this one's about halfway done too now. I saw Transcendence's headquarters under attack. Briefly. Oh, man. I 
That's okay, trying hard not to get knocked out before Oblivion. Oblivion, trying hard not to get knocked out before FSK. Well, I saw it get hit. It didn't go down much. Surely somebody's got to go in there and... Oblivion, leading the pack in kills, probably because they know that everyone's throwing their whole bodies at them. FSK, right behind them, not right behind them, but behind them. They are also being, having a lot of bodies thrown at them. Oh, there's Transcendence to Siege Headquarters. And there's a... Boy. FSK is doing their best. And Impact is there also. Trying to stop Transcendence and Oblivion from going in there and knocking them out. All headquarters are under attack right now. He didn't get very far. Oh, he's still there. Is that, is that still him? Running around, trying to draw people away. Oh, oh, man. Oh. That's not looking good for FSK. Was that... And FSK has been eliminated from Castle Siege number 18. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over. Impact has no chance against Oblivion and Transcendence now. No chance. They will do their best, but they have no chance. Let's see... Even if they manage to knock out Oblivion, it doesn't even matter. Transcendence will absolutely steamroll over Impact. I'm curious. We probably won't be able to see it. But I am curious about how much health... Somebody managed to get this down. But we might not be able to see it until somebody attacks it. And that's probably not going to happen now. So I can only assume that it probably wasn't that much.
And now Impact is going to do their best for the next 18 minutes and 45 seconds to stop both Oblivion and Transcendence from running in and taking this castle, which is entirely possible. Both those defensive towers are full health. Both of these are gone. Whittling down these defensive towers now. Looks like they're just gonna try to uh, push their way forward. It looks like a lot of Oblivion is just sort of standing around. They're just allowing Transcendence to do the rest of the work. I see that they're trying to stop some impact. Oh, I guess that's why Oblivion is about to be eliminated. I mean, not about, but they're definitely getting closer and closer. Impact is wearing them down while still trying to defend against Transcendence. That's why there's a whole lot of uh, Oblivion here. Now Transcendence's headquarters is under attack. Impact. Doing their best. That is outstanding. I, I see Oblivion getting eliminated. I really do. Somebody came in here and tried to do some damage. There comes another one. We're gonna see how how okay, there we go. So not anything life threatening there yet. We are approaching the halfway point of this battle. Oblivion is about to be eliminated, no doubt. If they haven't been nope, they haven't been eliminated yet. Yep, Transcendence, trying to imprint. But remember, it doesn't matter how much Holy Artifact time you get, that's not how you win this. this that's not, a, there's no tiebreaker. You either imprint it or you don't. Which means you either win or you don't. But they've definitely pushed Impact back to the Holy Artifact. Which will allow Oblivion to, to come out of their shell and help Transcendence wipe out Impact so that they so that Transcendence can imprint this Holy Artifact. Transcendence. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. And congratulations to Transcendence for successfully taking the castle away from Impact. Not a bad fight there. Here are your stats. Not a bad fight there. Impact doing their best, but 
two versus one, and they weren't exactly weak clans. FSK, I don't, I don't know about FSK and in Fortress Siege, man. It's just their their track record for defending, for for doing anything in them, is not that great. That was Impact. Here's FSK. I have no idea who could possibly be number one. There's Sab Tato with 51 kills, but that doesn't always mean everything. I understand that you got people on top, but why would 51-6 not be number one and 28-18 would be number one? There's FSK. Well, I don't have any time left. Congratulations to Party On for taking that particular castle. Dynasty looks like uh, the resistance held on to that one. Yangire now has that one. Transcendence Party On now has two castles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.